So as some of you guys might have saw, somehow the audio got corrupted on my previous attempt at this video. So here I am doing it again. And I'm like, y'all are taking me away from my cake with my Oreo and all that stuff, my birthday cake. But it doesn't matter. I'm cool. I, uh, I love you guys. It's only going to take like 20 minutes or whatever of my time. But I wanted to redo this because there is a New World Tournament LR, as you guys might have seen by the title, of course, and a Gohan. I'm going to give you guys the details. We're going to go over the units and I'm going to try to make this more concise uh, because I feel kind of redundant. Saying is how I technically already did this <laughs> and said everything I'm going to say, but we'll do it. So, first and foremost, male wolf, man wolf. He is going to probably be in the Dragon Ball Saga's banner. It doesn't really matter. Panputo. Sounds like something else in Spanish. <laughs> um, that was a little immature moment for me. Forgive me. Uh, a little bad humor. But anyways, same thing for him. We have an Intelligence TN that I believe will be in there as well. We're going to go ahead and take a look at the TN before we proceed, though. Forearm TN. We have Google Translations, so bear with me. We should be able to figure it out. HP and attack plus 50% for intel intellectual, intellectual, intelligent types. So basically the it types. Uh, super extra large damage, 30% of six turn attack and defense up. Really good. That is a really good effect. 30% for six turns is a really good effect. To attack and defense, a lot of cards are going to probably start popping up with stuff like that because he has that. Also, the World Tournament Gohan we'll talk about has that too, but it's only for three turns, I believe. But a lot of cards get buffs like that. You know, they get really big increases to their attack and defense, but it's for one turn, like a Gogeta, you know, things like that. SS4 Gogeta, I mean, or I think he like massively or greatly it depends because some some of those have like 50 some have 100 percent, but they just say massively or greatly which is assumed to be things like that um we found out recently that you can't really assume what dokkan's you know medium high stuff means because it could be different per unit so yeah it just either way 30 percent is awesome six turn attack and defense to themselves it's better if it's given it to themselves as opposed to giving it to like allies and it's really weird because the way that it calculates on allies is just a tad different. This is kind of like a passive, but it's going to stack. Each turn he comes up, going to get more attack and defense. Also, has a really nice defensive stat. This TN is actually really solid. Just before I get into his link set, this is max stats. He's an SR, SSR, excuse me. But he has, wait, no, what was I? Okay, Awoken, there we go, Awoken. Uh, maxed out. Oh, I was looking at orbs. There we go. The orbs were on. I was like, why is his defense so high? All right. So <laughs> here's his actual stat. Now I feel, I now I understand why he gets the defense improvement. I was like, good Lord, this guy is monstrous. He's got like one of the highest base stat totals in the game. Uh, anyways, death blow is activated with a high probability to add attack up to a maximum of two times with high probability. Okay. So... When he launches a super, he has the a high chance to add an additional attack up to two attacks with high probability. So he gets two additional attacks, up to two attacks, each one with a high chance to trigger when he launches the super attack. Forgive me if I am mistaken, but that's definitely what that seems like. Anyway, pseudo sending, that's going to be the crane school. Uh, telepathy. In fighter, it's an updated link, so it's not too bad. And then he has the normal Dragon Ball package, so definitely gonna be on that Dragon Ball link or Dragon Ball banner. Excuse me. It's nice that they're adding. It's nice that they're adding. You know, new stuff to that banner. Uh, recently, the Jackie Chan and stuff like that, or Chun. Excuse me. So yeah, there we go with that. Anyways, aside from that, we have this guy. This little guy is gonna be in there too. He's gonna be in there. Yes, you look at that little hair strand. <laughs> oh, that strand of hair. Look at it. It's looking so majestic, right? I can't zoom in. It. Okay, there. Oh, there. Okay. Look at how majestic it's looking. <laughs> oh, man. Energy of knowledge. I'm tired, man. I'm super tired. Knowledge and body types. So, knowledge and body. I don't... Is that intelligence? I feel like it's intelligence and just a weird translation. Uh, and body is going to be physical. Two key and 40% HP. No attack and defense, unfortunately. He gives himself 40% more defense and... The enemy, when he attacks them, loses their defense for 40% down on their defense for three turns. So, not bad, but kind of bad. This is like, I don't know why they even bother doing this. This doesn't help. It doesn't help. Like, ever. It doesn't help. I don't 
they don't they must not know that their defense stat is garbage when it's on their boss stages. Maybe the boss stages just have such ridiculously high defense that lowering their defense does absolutely nothing. You feel like I feel like cutting it by a percentage would help. But Sin Shenron does something similar and it doesn't really do like a crazy like difference. I don't know, man. Whatever. Whatever. Excuse me. It is what it is. Anyways, similar link package, if not the exact same one for the most part, aside from ESP. The TN didn't have ESP, but pretty much the exact same link package. All right. So, World Tournament Gohan, top 20K. So, they've updated the World Tournament pool. Thankfully, top 20K are going to get him. Those are his orb stats, too. So, this Gohan is awesome. Like, he's really good, but he's not, like, too good, but he's really good. Just a really good, like, Free to play quotes up because you do have to kind of work for them. But 20k makes it a little bit easier, I suppose. Uh, and they should have probably done the 20k cap a while ago. Energy of int types get so they get two key and 50% up, giving the super extra large damage. So that's supreme. Three turn attack and defense improvement. Again, a really good effect. I would love to see that on more like upper tier cards, but they don't really need it to stay competitive. But still, that's a really good effect. And I kind of see them giving stuff like this to, honestly, a lot of the rebirths going forward, you know. But can I say, and I said this in the first video, that's why I kind of skipped over it. I love Gohan, man. He's one of my favorite characters. Like, every version. I don't care what version it is. Tracksuit Gohan. I don't care. Like, you know. So, I love this Gohan. I just, I love the Saiyan armor, long hair Gohan and the Hyperbolic Time Chamber. Can we get an, a Super Saiyan variant of this? Can we get, like, the anime filler only super saiyan 2 transformation thing that he did for a split second in the hyperbolic time chamber can we get that <laughs> can we get that like come on <laughs> i need it come on unless i'm misremembering that either way i need the super saiyan variant in this outfit with the long hair pre-haircut <laughs> let it happen make it happen bandai make it happen all right so Anyways, really good link buddy on the hybrid Saiyan team, by the way. He shares a lot of links with Ultimate Gohan, which is cool. It's always nice whenever Ultimate Gohan gets a link buddy because a lot of the hybrid Saiyans, aside from the LR cards, don't link very well with him. So it's nice when you can have non-LRs that link well on that team. Uh, he gives himself three key, so that's awesome. He becomes self-sufficient. And when there's two or less enemies, he gets 60% attack and defense up. Now, I'm... All but certain it says two or less. I'm really hoping it says two or less. But there's a possibility it says two or more, but I think it's two or less. I'm all but certain once again, because I did take a peek at Talon's translations in between my you know first video and this video. So if it's two or more, that's garbage. If it's two or less, that's incredible. Two or more is only usable really in the world tournament consistently. And that's like 5% of this game's content, maybe less. Like literally 90 or 95% of this content of this game as far as events go, you're going to have less than that. I guess in in Super Battle Road, it, it can be. Like, if you get the hordes, like, you know, the full teams, like Ginyu Force, for example, or Bardock's team, then maybe. But still, two or less is going to be preferred almost every single time. So, Sun Family, um, Sand Warrior Race, Z Warrior, <laughs> Z Warrior, uh, Saiyan Lineage, Gaze of Respect, and Shocking Speed. So, Gohan has a lot of those links. STR Ultimate Gohan really likes that. I don't know if he has this one, but no, he doesn't have this. Int does. I think they this one trades this link off for Int Fighter. So, not bad. I like it. Z Fighters is a 15% attack link with him. And, of course, we have Saiyan Lineage, which he also has over there, too. Right here. And then we have Shocking Speed. So, they share a bunch of links. I don't think he has this link, the STR one. Oh, he does. So, they share this, too. 15% defense and attack links. So, it's almost like he was made for this team. So, I really like that. Last but not least. So, again, top 20K reward for this going. Last but not least, we have this TN. So, this TN starts off with Dragon Ball Links. Not a very, you know, interesting card as he is now. But he does Dokkan Awaken. He does use seven of those World Tournament medals because he is the new local ranking reward. LR Piccolo is no longer there. But I do believe that I read somewhere on the Reddit. Shout out to the Reddit. That his LR Piccolo, his SSR variant will be on the banner. So, the World Tournament goes live on 12-8, so December 8th. So, we have some more time. We've got, like, another, like, what, another day and two hours or so until that should go live. So, here's a Transcendent UR variant. Again, to awaken him from here, he needs 70 medals. So, basically the same as LR Piccolo. We're going to take a look at the LR variant. 
Um, let me go ahead and pop this up in a new tab so I can show you some of the details of the card. All right, so first and foremost, this isn't even right. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Okay, awesome art. I love the art. I think it's incredible, the fire and the blue aura type thing. So all attributes get a attack and defense improvement. No key or HP, unfortunately. If you're interested in, you know, 100% TN, these are his stats. So very nice stat distribution, really. Uh, attack, defense, and HP are very well-rounded. I don't want to say average. They're very well-rounded. So passive skill. We'll come back to the super attack mechanic. I don't know yet, and I feel like it doesn't do this, but I really hope this stacks between each one. Say he gets 14 key. He gets everything. But here, let me go ahead and read it to you. I don't think it works that way. But anyways, attack plus 10,000 if you have 8 key. Defense plus 10,000 if you have 11 key or more. Further energy meter 14 or more is 10,000 attack and defense. Maybe it does stack because it says uh, 11 or more. I'm assuming that means 11 or 12 or 13 really, but 14. So let me let me see if I understand this. So 7 or less, you get nothing. 8 to 11, you're going to get attack. Assuming it doesn't say 11 gives you the 8 bonus and the 11 bonus. Um... So eight or more, you're going to get up to, you're going to get 10,000 up to 11 key. So when you get 11 or more up to 14, so 12, 11, 12, 13, you're going to get the <laughs> 10,000 defense. This is wild. I don't really like this at all. Like I don't, I don't think it's very good. Even if it gave you all of it, I don't think it's still very good. Anyways, um, it's kind of interesting to me. This is one of the things I brought up in that video too, how like, all the free-to-play LRs, aside from, like, the newer two that have come out, the Gohan and the uh, Goku, because whether you have difficulty getting those cards, never get them, or what have you, they are technically free-to-play because they're given to you via in-game. So, aside from those cards, everything else that you grind for, like TN, the Androids, everything else, uh, not really, I meant Goku and uh, Frieza, the Androids, uh, Piccolo, they're all like kind of like in the same wavelength. It's funny to me how often this game creeps over the units, but they haven't really done it to those units. And I saw a post on that too, and it kind of got my mind thinking on the Reddit, you know, that really they haven't creeped out these units at all. And it's funny to me how they do that because I don't think TN is, honestly, I don't think TN's better than LR Goku. Like, I really don't. Like, but that's not a problem because I think, they're, I think that they're all relatively the same. Like, really, like some are better than others, right? Like, I think Piccolo's trash, but... That's just me. I think Hercule's kind of really crap too, but that's just me because somebody's going to say that they love their Hercule, who's 100% and hits for a million damage. That's fine. Um, but they're all kind of in the same, you know, wavelength in my opinion. So it's just funny to me, uh, just again, considering how often this game says, hey, I'm going to creep out my old units and make better units or variants of them that are a lot better. Then they literally have been doing it, just remaking units. Uh, case in point, Gotenks, SS3. Case in point, physical Vegito versus Super Vegito AGL. Neither, not to say Super Vegito is bad, but physical Vegito is just a better version. <laughs> so, I don't know, man. Anyways, Z Warrior, 15% attack link. That's nice. The Pseudo Sending link is there for 500 attacks. Not going to ever be used, you know, used unless you plan on running Int Chaozu, who's like going to be the best card with that link, probably. Um, well, Tech TN. Oh, no, the Intelligence TN actually links with this guy. Because this name changes for the LR into TN and Chaozu. So that's actually not a bad TN. He's really not. It is cool. It just, the problem with Earth characters is that they don't get like the, the, the common links like, you know, Super Saiyan and stuff like that. They don't have a lot of attack links, man. The Dompa is just like Kamehameha. It's a 2000 attack link for characters that use the Dompa. Oh, hey. Tao Pai Pai from, uh, <laughs> they literally call him Tao Pai Pai too. I like the Google translation that's coming through. From, um, the Arali event, Telepathy, Shocking Speed, Rebirth, and Legendary Power. So, trades in the Dragon Ball links. That's kind of weird. I feel like he would have been better off with some of the Dragon Ball links in there. Maybe that's just me, but I feel like he would have been better off with that over like something like Sudo Senin and Dodonpa or Telepathy. I mean, even Shocking Speed. I love Shocking Speed, but like, dang. <laughs> Not to say it's a better link, but okay, whatever. Anyways, Tian's cool. Um... I don't really think, you know, he's something you're going to take your time with. I don't think it's worthwhile just rushing to get, like, first place local. 
um, every single tournament. But I think that they'll start putting out the tournaments a little bit more consistently now that TN is the new reward. Gohan will eventually get an awakening, most likely, because they have been awakening the wall tournament units too. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did enjoy it, please consider subscribing to the channel for more Dokkan Battle. Sorry for that previous video. It didn't work out the way that I wanted it to. Sorry about that. I'm going to check this one. Anyways, have an awesome day, and I appreciate your support. Take it easy, guys.